Hello friends, this video on transport in plants part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now we will talk about the next uh, mechanism or the next process for short distance transport of water that is plasmolysis. So let us see what is plasmolysis. Plasmolysis, the term is derived from plasma. Plasma is something related to the cytoplasm and lysis means to break down, to cut down. So let us see what is plasmolysis. It is the process in which the plant cell cytoplasm is separ separated from cell wall due to severe water loss. Now if, as I said, water constitutes a major part of the plant. So inside each and every cell we have cytoplasm which is a fluid which is nothing but mostly water with dissolved nutrients and minerals in it. Now if the plant cells start to lose a lot of water, what will happen? The cell will start to shrink. Now when it loses a lot of water, a situation arises where the cytoplasm gets widely separated from the cell wall and this separation of cytoplasm from cell wall is known as plasmolysis because the connection between the cytoplasm and the cell wall is getting cut down or broken down and that is why the name is plasmolysis. Let us look at this picture which will give a better idea. This is how the plant cell looks like before plasmolysis. So this is before. So if you see this pink colored structure represents the vacuole. Now in plant cells vacuole occupy a major portion of the cell. So this is the vacuole and this white region which you see they are nothing but the cell walls. And inside that you have the cytoplasm and so many other organelles. We are not discussing about all that now. Now after plasmolysis if you see the vacuole or this pink region is quite well separated from the cell wall and this separation occurred because of plasmolysis because the cell lost a major portion of water. So this is about plasmolysis. So after plasmolysis the vacuoles shrunk, the cytoplasm got separated from the cell wall. Now in order to understand when this plasmolysis occurs, I mean when, the, when a plant cell start to lose water, we need to understand the behavior of cells in different type of solution. So this situation comes when the cell is placed in a hypertonic solution. Now you might wonder what is hypertonic solution. So let us discuss about the different types of solution and the behavior of the cell in each of these solutions. So first we will talk about the behavior with hypertonic solution. So what is a hypertonic solution? A solution in which the water concentration in the solution is lesser than that inside the cell. So what you do, you take a container, you take a hypertonic solution. It is that type, hyper means more. So hyper means this solution has water concentration less that means the solute concentration is more in this solution and now you put inside the solution the plant cell so now what is the situation the situation is that the water concentration is less here and the water concentration is more here so what will happen by the process of diffusion or osmosis whatever you call it water will start flowing from the cell to the water so water will I mean from the cell into the solution so the water will start to come out of the cell now when there is too much of water loss the situation of plasmolysis come into picture now when the water start to move out of the cell first the water moves from the cytoplasm all the water present inside the cytoplasm is sent out then all the water which is present in the vacuole is again sent out because vacuole is basically used as a storage organ in plant now then what happens the cytoplasm and the vacuole shrinks so water moves into the extracellular fluid and this causes the protoplast to shrink and go away from the walls and this results in a separation between the cell wall and the cytoplasm so this is how it behaves in a hypertonic solution so here if you see if you look at the plant cell so now if you look at the plant cell it is gradually getting shrunk because of the loss of water. So 
due to this loss of water as i mentioned before also firstly the cytoplasm will lose all the water and the vacuole will also lose all the water so all the water will come in this extracellular space so all the water will come into this extracellular space and as a result of this the vacuole and the cytoplasm will shrink and they will get separated from the cell wall so that is how the process of plasmolysis take place so plasmolysis will take place in a hypertonic solution hypertonic solution is the one where the water concentration is less than that inside the cell the next type of solution that we are going to talk about is just the opposite one that is hypotonic solution hypotonic solution means in this type of solution the water concentration in the solution is higher than that inside the cell so in that case what will happen water will start moving into the cell so water will move inside the cell so what will happen when water more and more water enters inside the cell the cell start to swell up so when water diffuses into cell the cytoplasm will build a pressure against the cell walls as i said when too much of water enter inside any object it will start to exert pressure on the walls of the container so the container here is the cell so this pressure is known as the turgor pressure and the cell is said to be turgid that means the cell is having enough uh, water now and it is called turgid and the pressure which is exerted that is called the turgor pressure so in return because of this turgor pressure there will also so i'll just write it down this is turgor pressure now in response to the turgor pressure there is some pressure which is also exerted by the protoplasm which is known as the pressure potential and this is this pressure potential is the one which we talked about some time back now due to the fact that the cell wall now in plant cells we have an additional cell wall outside the plasma membrane and this cell wall is quite rigid hard and tough due to the presence of this rigid cell wall plant cells do not rupture when placed in a hypotonic solution whereas if you place an animal cell in the similar situation as soon as too much of water enters inside turgor pressure will develop and the cell will burst down because they do not have the cell wall but plant cells do have so plants can withstand this turgor pressure now let us look at the third type of solution that is the isotonic solution as the name says iso iso means same so here the concentration of water inside the in the solution and in the cell will be the same so in this type of solution what would be the behavior since the water concentration in the solution is same as that inside the cell we actually do not see a net movement or a net diffusion is not seen that is because if like it is like a combination of both hypertonic and hypotonic so even though water wants to move inside it will exert some pressure called turgor pressure at the same time water will also come outside and the both the movements will get balanced therefore there is no net movement which is taking place in an isotonic solution thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online test get free study material find tutors and mentors thank you once again